Hey guys, how are you doing? Hope you're having a great day. I know it's been a while since I put out a movie review. Uh, that's mostly because you know I haven't been to the movie theater since watching uh, Talimala back in August 12th. Uh, if you haven't seen it, I'm going to place the link in the description to that review. Do check it out if you have the time. Uh, so main thing is, you know, no disrespect to any movie makers or any movies that have been released, you know. Uh, none of them actually captured my interest enough to go to the movie theater and watch it. And you know, I sort of stayed away. I kind of wanted to watch Gold and Monster, but you know, their releases were postponed. Hoping they'll release soon. So coming to Tirichitra Amblam, you know, before I talk about the movie, uh, I, th I think it was about two weeks ago when I saw some of the movie, uh, you know, video songs of the from the movie on YouTube. I like Thai Kalavi. I loved Megam Karakadu. Uh, you know, great songs, uh, great music, the dance numbers, the choreography. I loved all of it. So immediately I had this interest to watch this movie. Unfortunately, the movie had left the movie theaters at that point. So I was kind of waiting for it to release on OTT, and it did on Sun Next. So over the weekend. I saw this movie twice. The movie released Friday evening on September 23rd. So I, I watched it then. And then again on Sunday evening with my family. And I have to say, I simply loved this movie from start to finish, you know. It just filled up my heart with a lot of happiness and, uh, you know, a lot of fun and enjoyment. This is easily one of the best feel-good movies of the year for me. And there's nothing spectacularly different or amazing that's happening here. It's a very simple down-to-earth story. But what really stands out here is the amazing performances given by each actor in this movie and the amazing interactions between each character. The famous Russian filmmaker Konstantin Stanislavski said that acting is reacting and that is exactly what is done in this movie you know. The best performance that you can see in this movie is how people react to certain situations and how they react to each other. In fact I would recommend this movie for uh, aspiring uh, movie makers and actors you know because this movie has done such a great job in bringing out the best in actors when they are reacting a situation and and most importantly, it's a, it's a very natural reaction and you're able to relate with it. But I think I'm getting ahead of myself because of the excitement. Uh, so, to take a step back, uh, Tirichitra Ambalam is written and directed by Mitran R. Javaha, starring the very versatile Danush, Nitya Menon, Prakash Raj, Bharati Raja and Rashikanna. The story of the movie mainly focuses on the lead character played by Danush, whose name is Tirichitra Ambalam, or to be more specific, Tirichitra Ambalam Jr. Because his grandfather's name played by Bharati Raj is also Tirichitra Ambalam, and he's Tirichitra Ambalam Sr. But for various reasons in the story, which I won't reveal, he is called Pallam. He's a little bit of a coward, he's a little bit of a wimp, uh, you know, so people kind of push him around. So for all these reasons, you know, they, he's known as Param and, you know, initially, like he says in the movie, you know, initially that name used to bother him. Everyone calls him Param and he accepts it and he goes along in his life. But he's not alone. He's got his best friend played by Nitya Menon who plays the character of Shobana. The backbone of this movie lies in the strength of the... Uh, chemistry between these two actors or between these two characters not for a second do you think that you know these two actors are acting these scenes or you know it feels like these are real characters you know interacting in such an organic and effortless manner especially Nitya Menon she, I can't remember the last movie where I was absolutely smitten by seeing an actor perform you know Nitya Menon from start to finish you know this is the very definition of what an adorable performance looks like she is so endearing. She is uh, so relatable. At the same time, you know, you can't help but fall in love with her. I couldn't take my eyes off the screen. I absolutely enjoyed her performance as well as her antics. And she's got a couple of antics going on. They're very regular people living normal lives, working nine to five jobs, and then hanging out over the weekend with movies and Netflix. In fact, that's the kind of introduction uh, Danish gives his character right in the beginning, you know. It's a very uncomplicated life. It's a very drama-free life. But that's what's on the surface. Underneath that surface, things are a little more serious, things are a little more complicated, and there's a lot of stuff to uncover. Right in the beginning itself, you know, you can sense sort of tension, especially when Danush comes home. He has a great relationship with his grandfather, played by Bharati Raja, Trichitra Amblam Sr. He comes home, drinks beers with his grandfather, and shares things about his life with him, and they interact. But when it comes to his father, played by Prakash Raj, who's a police inspector, they have a very, uh, you know, a troubled relationship. Of course, there is some backstory involved in it, which I won't give away, because it's kind of part of the storytelling and I want you to experience it on your own. Now, when it comes to Danisha's character as well, there has been a trauma in his life which has kind of affected his decisions and how things change for him. He was at a point a topper of his class and you know a promising future ahead of him. But 
for some some reason or the other which i won't give away obviously he gave that all up and he decided to become a delivery boy for a food delivery service and that's about you know the basic synopsis of this movie everything else is sort of the things that happen to him as he goes on with his life so which comes back to what i said it's not something new or incredibly different from what we've seen before it's a very simple very relatable story but how they decided to tell the story it's what makes it so endearing and so lovable part of me wished i was in the movie theater watching it you know because i simply loved how the story was told you know the movie also has amazing music by anirudh ravichandar you know every time i listen to an album uh, composed by anirudh ravichandar i you know automatically it's my in my head i think okay this is his best this is the best you know when i saw uh, vikram a couple of months ago i saw the uh, vikram movie and i loved the soundtrack and i was like okay this is his best then i watched this movie and I fall in love with all the songs in the movie and immediately I'm thinking okay this is his best <laughs> so got a hats off to uh, Andrew Dravichandar who are coming out with consistently high quality music I'm loving his work so far I can't wait to hear more of it or even see more of it because you know along with the great uh, music you know there are some incredible visuals in uh, the choreography and some of the song set pieces in the in this movie especially when it comes to megam karikada again a very simple concepts you know boy and girl dancing on the street you seen it a hundred times you know but again how they picturize the song and how the choreography uh, you know kind of unfolds and, and as well as storytelling there's a little bit of storytelling also going on because in that song and if you haven't seen it you know it's out on youtube go check it out uh, but again uh, watching it all on uh, you know as i was watching the movie you know it 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 sings so well and you know yeah this i had this smile on my face throughout the entire movie at the same time it's not all happiness and romance also there are some heavy emotional moments in the story in fact uh, towards the middle part of the movie i would say that you know genuinely scenes that got me teared up but it's not the kind of movie that you know kind of uh, goes on with those scenes you know in fact at a point i was worried like is this going to be the story i mean i understood that emotional part of the story and you know I, like i said you know i teared up and i cried also but a part of me was worried was like you know there is a lightness also in the story or how this movie is told there's a certain light approach they take and how the characters and the story is being told and along with that lightness you know they mixed a little bit of darkness and that's what gives weight to the story and characters as well so a part of me was worried you know are they changing the kind of tone of the movie and going for a little more serious because i was kind of enjoying the over, you know over that light dark tone uh, going on over there i didn't want it to be you know one tone continuously it's obviously a story about the different situations that tirichitra amblam faces so obviously there has to be mixture of lightness and darkness over there and thankfully they don't prolong the darkness aspect they do go through certain emotional scenes but they quickly go on with the story and that's the best part of it they want to take the plot forward they want to evolve their characters you know so it's not just the same thing you're watching again and again you see the characters go through certain situations and grow up and you know make better choices and decisions to a certain extent which i won't give away but to a certain extent some mistakes are repeated and that's the kind of theme of this movie you know sometimes you know we miss the things that are right before us you know the blessings or the advantages that we have sometimes we kind of miss it and that's the kind of theme that they're going for especially towards the end of you know what their story is trying to convey that we are in our lives in spite of all the difficulties and problems you know there are positives that uh, you know really help us also it might be people it might be situations maybe various things but the thing is there are positives in our lives and we often don't look at those positives we only concentrate on what's bad or what's negative in our lives and maybe concentrating on those positives can actually help us and that's the sort of thing they're going with also now for my rating for this movie i'm going to give it a 4.2 out of 5 it's the perfect example of how a simple story if told in the right way can make way for great cinema This is a heartwarming tale of friendship and love and family with great music, great performances, uh, wonderfully written scenes and great direction. Overall, a total entertainment package. Don't miss it. In fact, watch it right now. That was my review, guys. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up icon and of course, subscribe to my channel for more ratings and videos like this. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.